Today, we're diving deep into the potential downfall of Citadel, a major market player, and how it could impact retail investors like you and me. Buckle up, because this is a complex situation with big implications. Hey, welcome to a MC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. The SEC finds Citadel a slap on the wrist. We start with the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC finding Citadel a measly $7 million for past short selling regulation violations. Now, $7 million sounds like a lot, but compared to Citadel's reported $10 billion profit, it's a drop in the bucket. This raises a critical question, is this penalty enough to deter future manipulation? Many analysts, including Crystal Ball, believe it's not. It becomes a cost of doing business for Citadel if the potential profits from manipulation outweigh the fines. Enter the CAT system, a game changer. Here's where things get interesting. The upcoming CAT system promises full transparency on all trades. This means Citadel shady tactics, like marking short trades as long, will be exposed in real time. This could be a game changer, as immediate penalties and regulations can be enforced, preventing them from manipulating the market as freely. The synthetic share theory, a web of lies. Now, let's explore the theory of synthetic shares. Biotech moves suggest that short sellers like Citadel have been doubling down on their short positions, essentially creating fake share synthetics to drive the price down. This tactic allows them to buy more time and avoid covering their original short positions. The scary part? Estimates suggest there could be anywhere between 16 billion and a staggering 114.5 billion synthetic shares out there. The squeeze potential. Mooning or bust? If this theory holds true, it could lead to a massive short squeeze. Here's why when the price inevitably rises, short sellers are forced to buy back real shares to cover their positions. With such a massive number of synthetic shares, this buying pressure could send the stock price soaring potentially into the tens of thousands per share. Why suppress the price? A matter of survival. This potential squeeze explains why Citadel might be so keen on suppressing the price. Their average short position price could be much lower than the current market price. Even a small increase could lead to billions in losses. This incentivizes them to manipulate the market and keep the price artificially low. Debt defaults. A domino effect? The domino effect doesn't stop there. Unusual Whales points out the increasing number of companies defaulting on their debt. While AMC seems to be taking steps to avoid this fate, short sellers like Citadel might be exposed if their collateralized assets companies they invest in default. This could cripple their ability to borrow money and further weaken their position. Antara Capital's woes, another piece of the puzzle. Finally, let's look at Antara Capital, a fund heavily invested in shorting the MC. Their recent freezing of assets due to massive losses contradicts the narrative that short sellers have profited handsomely. This reinforces the idea that they haven't covered their positions and are doubling down, fearing a potential squeeze. So, what does this all mean? The potential downfall of Citadel hinges on several factors, the effectiveness of the CAT system, the validity of the synthetic share theory, and the financial health of companies used as collateral. Retail investors need to stay informed and understand the tactics employed by big players. Transparency and fair regulations are crucial to ensure a level playing field in the market. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about a MC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.